Hi, I'm Izal and I'm Azizul. Okay, so today you're joining us as we review our top five games to look forward to from E3. Oh yeah, so like it varies from like the PlayStation's to the Xbox to even in, 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 even a Nintendo. I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, XP, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna go into it. Okay, right. so the first game we're gonna say is Izal's probably top one really, which is uh, not, not, not really top one, but one of the one I think mm. this is the one that I think is like the most interesting, but a lot of people that really didn't care about it, which is Days Gone. Okay, Days Gone. Reason being is that this is the first fast-paced zombie shooting game. Okay, well, uh, my my only. It was, when it popped up, it was pretty cool. There was like there's like some World War Z thing, like, like a bunch of zombies coming out, the train, the demo. But for me, before the fast pace comes in, it had that Last of Us sort vibe. of vibe, yeah, 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 yeah. sneaking around, whatever. Yeah, actually, when they first put it up, before it's been announced saying they come, because I watch it like in the middle, so it looked like I thought it was like a, a DLC for Last of Us, some second sequel to it and all that kind of stuff. Because, but then you know. Because Naughty Dog, like every year, consistently somehow comes out with something. Yeah, I and know. This year is like <laughs> Naughty Dog sweatshots. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but that's the thing. Because one thing you don't realize that it kind of shows how powerful the PS4 really is. Because the crowd, the crowd control. I mean, the crowd animation, the simulation is just amazing. The amount of zombies that's coming up is insane. Yeah, but like I, the problem, the only caveat with that was there was like a little glitch in the middle, just a little bloop, a green little glitch. But you know that could be just a demo of yeah. E3, so we were not. So all is forgiven. Now we're going to talk about Final Fantasy 15. So it comes in two flavors now: uh, the normal Final Fantasy that we all know and love, and Final Fantasy VR. Yeah, VR. So yeah, so. I'm a big fan of Final Fantasy, Isa is unfortunately not, so no, he does no, not I, understand. I, no, no, it's not that I don't understand, it's just that everything after 10 just sucked. He's just not happy, did you? <laughs> <laughs> but like, finally, like we have a game that is like been in development for, for god knows how many years, ever since the PSG. So, I'm excited, I'm excited for these four dude bros on a camping trip, driving around. Whatever. Four dudes on a camping trip, sounds... Super A. But anyways, yeah, no, the thing, I think the problem is about Final Fantasy, it's not that it's not exciting, I think it's quite cool, but the problem about Final Fantasy is that it, it takes so long for them to develop. And this was supposed to be what? Final Fantasy... It, it's supposed to be Final Fantasy 13 versus Versus on the PS3, right? Then yeah. suddenly like, they look, hey, you know what? We don't have enough budget, so we're gonna do like, make this into Final Fantasy 15. So, yeah. Then, well. To be fair, a Final Fantasy game is as rare as a Hideo Kojima game, so I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, but did you try the trail, the, the the demo that they, they, they yeah, released? Yeah, I did. I did. Right did, did. The the one that was like a pretty cool boss fight in the middle. The platinum edition. Yeah. Or whatever so it is. literally, like it, there's like a new evade button, like a warp. You just jump around left and right, right. So I figured a way where if you warp enough around, you would actually get stuck in a bug. So you just stay there and then you just whack it all the way. Ah, big. Really? Yeah, that means because it's a demo and like it, so you know bugs everywhere. So because I I played the demo before this as well. Work. But I played this one. And it was very short. I think I finished it in like fifteen minutes. Yeah, yeah, like a normal demo. <laughs> yeah. So that's Final Fantasy. Uh, what else is new? It's coming. It's coming. Yeah. On to the third game. Yeah. On the third game, Azizo is gonna show his nerdiness and his geekiness, his fanboyism, all in. Well, to be fair, <laughs> because it's, it, there's, there wasn't much Pokemon news, so I'm a bit like, aside from like they showed off a new Pokemon that looks like a bit like Donald Trump or going to the internet, link somewhere here, we we'll put it up. But, so there's a new Legend of Zelda for the Wii U, uh, Breath of the Wild. So it has this pretty cool thing where like Zelda, I'm oh, sorry, Link has this little pouch thing that he's carrying around, a bit of a sci fi thing where he can actually conjure up objects. He's actually flying in this, so. For me, I, I can only explain to it as a Legend of Zelda game. Unfortunately, Zelda... <laughs> okay, the last Zelda game I played was the first Zelda, which was on the NES. I was boring. But anyways, but this trailer, it showed like a whole lot more excitement because now he can set fires on the shelves, he can cook, uh, he can fish. To be fair, uh, he's been he doing can it climb. for a while. He can climb. And yeah, it's 
It looks boring. I don't know. I He's don't just get it. I don't very know. outdated. In this. So I don't get it. He doesn't know anything. No, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, another Legend of Zelda game. I'm looking forward to it. I might just buy a Wii U because of this thing. Might. Might. Okay, so next game. The next game on our list is this game where... I never was a big fan of it, but after watching the trailer, oh my god, man! Oh my god! It just looks amazing. And the game is... Battlefield 1. Okay, the problem is, what Isa's statement was, because he only plays Call of Duty. Shame. Ah, no, no, shame, shame. No, 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 I, I played Battlefield, <laughs> tried it once, got it free on PSN. Okay, yeah. well, the cool part is that now Battlefield 1, instead of going what Call of Duty is doing, where going to modern, into the future, fighting in space. They they went back, they went back into history, they tried to find something new that everyone can fight off with. And the cool part was, they found World War One. There wasn't a proper World War One game yet. So oh, but Medal of Honor was what? World War Two. World War Two. Okay. Yeah. So it looks yeah. the same to me. Yeah, that's that's Isa's fault, I guess. But now we have a game where it could actually maybe simulate how trench warfare is supposed to be, how terrifying it is to be in a trench just to be at the end of the day to be roasted and fried with a flame gun. Oh, oh to be fair, there's horses in this game, so it's pretty cool. But, but, but the, Zepp the Zeppelin looks so cool at the end when the Zeppelin comes up. Like, not many games use Zeppelin. Yeah, which for us <laughs> to understand, we I mean in real life, you just take a tank, you just shoot like one shell and it's gone. But, you know, but game we, balancing. We have a Zeppelin. Zeppelin. All the boys are just playing Led Zeppelin on the multiplayer server soon. <laughs> Can't wait. That's not funny, man. That's funny. <laughs> but yeah, so Battlefield 1. Okay, so now for the D number one game on our list. It's not because it's innovative or whatever, but the thing is, it looks so goddamn cool. Yep, exactly. Like and of course, it was God of War. I am Kratos. Yeah. yeah, but the whole thing, it looks so good, the pacing is changed, it's not as fast paced, I mean the QTEs as well, it's just like, it didn't really look like there were much QTEs. But yeah, yeah, that's the cool part, and for me, after playing, because I'm, I'm a Dark Souls player, right, I, I realised that the change of pace has made it, he, he just does that because he just has no patience to even finish the tutorial, so. That's, that's a tutorial? Awesome. See? Oh, okay. okay, okay. Anyway, so, God of War. Pacing has been changed. There's a bit of time you can actually strategize to play. It's not a button mash anymore. It'll be pretty cool. And like for Izal to be a bit more relatable, then there's a kid, so he just got a kid. So. Mm. But but I think I think the the, the, the trend in this E3 is that everybody is going to go with the last of us pacing. Yeah, exactly. Because Uncharted 4 was that as well. So they got in in the new God of War. You can see that it had that slower pace, more emotional touch kind of thing. Blah blah blah. Yeah. But yeah, I, I think it's going to be great if they do this well, man. Yeah. We don't really condone of killing animals, but like in... But it's cool. It's sorry, man, because I am Kratos. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. That's uh, the top 5 uh, that we want to look forward to after E3. So I hope that you guys continuously watch it and see what else is up. Yeah. So like, do the usual, follow us, click on subscribe. And yeah, thanks, man. Cheers. Right. Peace. Yeah. Yes.